Happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually going to do a little story time because I just had a very interesting week in New York auditioning and I want to just tell you a little bit about it. Okay, so I've got my little espresso just sipping on an afternoon, a little bit of caffeine. Let's get into it. So last week, on Thursday, I left to go to New York to audition for the Metropolitan Opera Chorus on Friday. So I got there Thursday night and got to my hotel and got a pretty good sleep, but I had started to feel a little bit scratchy in my throat, like, a, like something was coming on, but I had just finished with having a cold or the flu. I didn't get the chance to test. It wasn't COVID, um, but it might've been the flu. So I thought it was just on the tail end of that. I woke up Friday morning and I felt pretty good. I had like a little bit of a tickle in my throat still. My ears were plugged. I could tell like maybe this wasn't something that was remnant of the last case, but maybe it was something new, but I didn't know for sure. So I still felt vocally okay, but again, I couldn't hear myself. So... I just went ahead and got ready. I warm up, I feel good. Um, the warm up room I think was pretty good acoustics because later you'll find out <laughs> I did not actually feel good. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I felt pretty good warming up. And then I walked over to the Metropolitan Opera. I was so excited just to be in the building. I had never actually been inside that building in any capacity. So this was my first time. Um, it was a wonderful experience. I really appreciated all of the members of the chorus who were there helping and the person who was organizing everything. Like everyone was just so nice and so professional and I just felt so happy to be there. It comes time for me to audition and I look great. I'm feeling all right. My warm up was good, so I'm like ready to go. So we get taken down this like little staircase and um, got to kind of peek into the orchestra, uh, like the pit of the Metropolitan Opera, which was super cool because we were just looking out onto the house and just seeing it from that perspective was cool having that in my mind as I went into my audition. It comes time for me to go in and sing, and I know they're not gonna ask for much. I was told like they'll probably just hear one aria, if not all of one. And they had asked for the composer's aria. So for those of you who don't know, the composer's aria is very short and it packs a punch. So I was like, you know what? I'm only singing one aria and it's a short one. They're probably gonna hear all of it. Um, I think we had been told three minutes they were gonna hear. And so I was just like, okay, I'll go in, sing my thing, go home. I go into the room and start singing. Immediately, I knew I was not at my max capacity. <laughs> I had the crackles, like something just came into my throat and was just like, I don't think we're gonna produce sound right now. Um, I don't know if that actually was what happened out in the room, but I found out afterwards that that room was not a very good room to sing in. Like it just doesn't have a good acoustic, so it could be that, but like you know your voice, right? Like you know when it's on and when it's not, even if you can't hear. So they stopped me in the middle of my aria in the composer's aria, which was what they were doing with everyone. They were only hearing a very small portion of the aria. But the composer's aria in itself is like, it goes by in a flash. And so the fact that they stopped it halfway through, I was like, what just happened? Left, felt awful about it. But again, I heard afterwards that that was just a really awful, awful room to sing in. So. You never know. You kind of go back to your 
hotel, you try to forget about it and move on with life. That night, I started to feel bad. <laughs> like, really bad. Like, oh, dang, like there's something really, there's something else going on here. And at some point, I should have asked myself, could it be COVID? I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. And I should have tested that morning, but it's hard to get a test. It's hard to navigate where to find one. And, you know, I'm trying to get up and get ready for my audition, but I should have tested. Um, I waited a couple days because the last time I was sick, I didn't have COVID. Um, this time I was like, it's probably not. And I just, the next morning I felt even worse. So I was like, okay, well now we're sick. I'm supposed to be staying in this hotel for two nights and staying with a friend for two nights and then staying with my mom who was coming to meet me for two nights. So I was there a total of six nights. Because I was feeling sick, I was like, I don't know what this is, but I texted my friend and I was like, I don't think that I should come stay at your house. And you know, hotels are expensive. So I was like, I'm gonna do one more night at a hotel. And it was like pretty reasonable because it was January and it was midweek. I felt okay doing that. So I stay the night at the hotel one more night than I was planning on it. Woke up the next morning feeling even worse. Uh, I had a fever and just, I was out. So here I am stuck in New York City, sick as a dog trying to figure out how long I should stay, if I should go back home, because I was supposed to be there for another audition the next week. I was staying in between. And so I was like, should I book a flight back home? But I was too sick. So I'm in this hotel by myself for two days straight. <laughs> I take a nap that afternoon and I wake up feeling like so much better. And I think my fever had broke and I was feeling a lot better. So I went out and got a three course Italian meal, um, as you do when you wake up from a fever and you feel good. So I went and got some food that night, but it was just like kind of a solo adventure. I wasn't seeing anyone. And that was actually pretty great. I eat my cannolis. I eat my pasta. I feel amazing. Wake up the next day feeling a little more recovered, but still like, not totally. Um, and then I talked to Peter, my husband, and he has COVID. And I'm like, I bet you I have COVID. I bet you I gave COVID to him. And then I came to New York and then I auditioned for the Metropolitan Opera Chorus with COVID. And that's why I didn't feel vocally well because I had COVID. <laughs> so my lasting mark at the Met is that I gave it COVID. I stay one more night decide not to fly back home because if you have COVID, you should not travel. And so I ended up staying three nights by myself or three days by myself in a hotel. And I was starting to go crazy at this point, but I was starting to feel better. And so my mom came into town because I was feeling better and we were gonna take precautions. And I was basically on day five or six of my COVID from you know when my symptoms started. Um, and so I did stay in a hotel with her a couple nights and we ended up getting a, an air purifier to put in between us. And I wore a mask the whole time I was in the hotel room. Um, and, you know, we sanitize, wash our hands, all that stuff. At this point, I'm supposed to have an audition that Wednesday, which is the, the second day after my like isolation period. Um, from having COVID. And so I was assuming that I was not going to be able to audition because like, that's just so soon. But I emailed them anyway and I'm like, hey, I have COVID <laughs> and I'm on the tail end and I'm feeling good. I'm, I, I was actually feeling pretty good. Um, it was a quick recovery, which I was super grateful for, but they were super nice and were like, hey, if you test negative, come in. We can have a slot open for you the day after our last audition day. Um, 
for the chance that you could test negative. And I was like, okay, well, let me talk about it because that means I have to extend my trip by a night. And I had already, you know, paid for all these hotels that I wasn't planning on. And so I was like, okay, let me make this decision and get back to you. Whew, I need a little hit of espresso. It's a long story. Okay. I end up telling them that I'm going to plan to leave Wednesday night. Um, and I tested that day and it was still a very strong line on my COVID test. And I was like, hey, I don't think I'm going to be negative tomorrow. So I'm just letting you know, but I'll test again tomorrow. They tell me that Thursday they have a time for me if I want to come in. And I was like, okay, probably not, but I'll let you know. I test on Wednesday morning. It's almost gone. Like, I don't know how this happened, but like the day before there was like a really strong line. And then the day after it was like barely there. And I was like, are you kidding me? And I emailed her and I was like, it's like barely there. Um, and I'm going to try to actually find a way to stay the night because I was just like, I, there's no way it's going to be negative by Thursday, but it was. So I thank God that my parents helped me because most of this career I've done on my own, but every once in a while, if there's an emergency or if they really want to help, my parents will chip in and they paid for an extra night in that hotel and they were able to change my flight. Um, back with no extra cost. So I end up staying one more night and at this point I was like pretty over it. I was like, I want to be home. Like <laughs> I've, I've been sick alone in a hotel for too long. I just want to be home in my own bed with my own husband and I love my mom, but I was just like ready to be home. So I wake up Thursday morning I go in to audition. Oh yeah, and I had to find a pianist. So like that was a whole thing. Yeah, I found her the night before. Thank God. <laughs> I think a lot of things had to come together for this to work. But I was like, here's my rep. <laughs> Let's run through things like five minutes before the audition. So my audition was the first one of the day. So I got up and I couldn't even get a warm up room because they weren't even open yet. So I was like, Here we go. Did warm up for like five minutes, which was enough. Like five minutes versus nothing is the world of difference. We ran through some stuff. I went in, I auditioned, best audition of the year. Like seriously, best audition of the year. I don't know how to explain it, but um, I did that and I was just immediately like, what just happened? And so the moral of the story of this trip was what just happened? And I feel like that's so fitting for this career. Like if I could just boil it down into three words, it would be what just happened. Anyway, I got back home. <laughs> we're home, we're healthy and getting back into the swing of things. But I feel like my life just went crazy for a week and I wanted to share. So I hope you enjoyed this very chaotic video. <laughs> and I will see you next week on my channel. And if you wanna subscribe, that'd be great. Please subscribe please subscribe. I'll sing for you, I promise. Click the little button and I'll see you next weekend. Bye, stay healthy.